Libra, welcome to your advanced six months forecast. Now, please take note that this is only a quick outlook of um, from July to December. Okay, so the monthly forecast will still be different from this. All right, let's take a look, Libra. Okay, this is July, August, September, October, November, December. Right. And let's take a look at your career forecast. Mm. December, you'll be moving. October, you will be traveling. September, there will be a lot of good news. August, seems like you're going to be in for a big idea and big move or big action. July, you will be like containing your energy and reserving it for the big action for the next five months. Okay. Hmm. Oh, double travel. This is good. Oh. Okay, when it comes to your love life. Looks like your love life for the rest of the year will be like, mm, you know, like so and so stuff. Well, Libra Singles looks like you are going to be meeting someone who is very well financed or financially stable. Mm. Okay, and last but not the least... Be careful of eating legumes in the month of August. Alright, in the month of July, it looks like you will be feeling a little bit reserved, walled up. Feeling a little bit secretive as well. That you don't want to tell, you know, everyone or to some people about what's really going on with you. But you know that even though this new beginning that you're thinking about is you know, uncertain, you're not really sure of the stuff that you need to make, or you're not really sure where it's going to take you. But one thing's for sure is that you're ready to take the plunge and you're ready to do whatever it takes. Okay. Um, you will be weathering the storm, of course, that there are, you know, every new beginnings, you have to start from the, you have to go back to start and you have to start from scratch and there are some things that you also need to sacrifice and there are also some things that you need to give up now some libras will also be messing around with somebody from the past that they used to be with or that they, they used to get married to or um some libras will be um like taking their exes into consideration to reconcile, to be in good terms or to be friends until they become lovers, okay? The main thing here is you will be opening up a door to somebody from the past whom you feel like you're very much well-connected. You are more, you know, in tune with each other and you're more, you know, like you're more connected, Okay, that you have more chemistry, that this person knows you more inside and out, and this person knows you more than any that, than anyone else do. 
okay? And I feel like, you know, for those uh, who's already married, some Libras, their relationship or your, um, your, um, what do you call this? Your marriage is already on the rocks. And you're already trying to make a decision whether to work it out or to just, you know, continuously go ahead with the new beginnings that you're thinking about. Well, I mean, and this person is actually either an air sign or a water sign. And you're also worried about the finances, you know, the finances that you need to do and the finances that you need to use. On your new beginnings which is you feel like you already have enough for yourself and you already have enough um to let's say either buy a house or to start a new business altogether okay but be very careful and conserve your finances or your resources wisely now when it comes to your workplace looks like you are juggling between um, your work and another person's work or you'll be multitasking this month okay someone will be going on a vacation or someone will be going on an emergency trip and that you have to fill in for their position now even though that you're trying to do your best to do everything that you can to fulfill your job of course that if you're doing another person's job at the same time it's so unlikely that you will be polishing everything that you're doing. So there is an air sign who'll be picking on you or who will be making your life even more difficult during this month. But whatever happens, just try to greet your teeth and just try to hold down your temper. Okay, don't lose your cool. Otherwise, you would just be paying more, you know, bigger prices for that later on. And I feel like it might just cost you your, your job, you know, if you are going to go head to head with this air sign which is such a bully and you know they're just pretty much miserable in their own world so they're just looking for someone to pick on okay so just ignore them anyway when it comes to your personal life you are looking into the options of either cutting off this person or just going ahead and you know just act like cut off and dry okay you've already had enough you feel like you've been doing everything that you can to fix things up but it seems like everything just points you outside the door and then you feel like maybe this is a sign you know maybe this is something that i really need to do or maybe this it's not really meant to be you know worked out for or maybe we shouldn't really try so hard to save it now you will be thinking that maybe it's just time for me to you know to move away to go away look for myself do some soul searching and be on my own for a little while you know so you will be it's like you will be experimenting you'll be testing and you will also try all sorts of ways to look for the li for the right position or sorry to, 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 to look for the right solution or to look for the you know for the um like where do you really fit okay where do you really want to go from here should you stay should you go and if you stay what will be the consequences or if you go what will be the consequences of it both of those you know solutions you will try it first okay but there will be a change in your situation so i feel like it's not really over over yet now when it comes to your sex life singles you will be having a lot of active you know sexual activities this month and um it seems like you are going to be meeting someone who's a little bit weirdo or eccentric, but then the sex is going to be great. And when it comes to your health, well, you will be looking back into, you know, the, uh, it's like you will be retracing the path of your, of, um, of your health or the pattern. And then you will start thinking, you know, like, okay, I've already healed from this. This is what made me well. This is what, you know, you will be like tracking the history and the pattern of your health because it seems like there will be some skin problems, which is, I feel like it's going to be major. And you will be, you will try to, hmm. It's like you will also try to have some different 
brands or products for your skin. Um, you know, you've already had a history of um, going for a botch um, dermatological thing, okay? And if you're going to do this, it might just cause you more damage than good. So be very careful with your decision. Now, month of August looks like you are going to be in for a big action and big move or changes and also big ideas. You will be very happy with your job or with your workplace because you will feel so in demand and you will also feel that, you know, everyone is being cooperative and being so, you know, being so, uh, what do you call this? nice and well it seems like this uh, war between you and uh, this bully air sign will soon be over over it seems like this one is a Gemini but um, you know uh, let's just say that there will that there will be ceasefire but it's not yet you know the end of your feud so anyway there is a water sign who will also be oh it seems like someone will also be a resigner quitting from your company and you will be the first choice of your management so good for you and you'll be very happy with that same goes to your workplace you know which actually coincides with your general forecast for this month of august and you will be very happy with all the um you know the achievements and with all the feedbacks Plus an increment, you know, because for the meanwhile, the, the management will be, you know, will try to choose for the right candidate. Of course, that it needs to go through the form, the um, formalization and the, you know, formal stuff of um, uh, doing things and uh, announcing f stuff. But um, you will be the first choice of the management. It's not yet official, but you know that you will be getting it. Okay, so just keep on trying to do your best, but do not go head to head with the air sign. For some reason, could be that she is a higher, you know, she's she's in the you know in the position, or she's uh, one of the decision makers, or she's just one of the bosses. Okay, just be more patient because she just loves busting at other people because of her own miserable life. Now, when it comes to your love life, you will be feeling a little bit defensive, walled up, and a little bit, you know, edgy. But one thing's for sure is that you know what you want at this point. And you need to go and test some other things for yourself. Because if you're not going to do this, you will just regret it big time. Now, when it comes to your sex life, singles looks like you're going to be bumping into someone who is... You know, like, let's say, well-financed, a trader, and uh, a stock trader, okay? And, um, or into banks and finances, or just someone who is very well-financed and grounded. And it seems like this is an earth sign, and you'll be very happy because it's not just that they are, you know, it's not just about the looks, the body. And it's not just about the status, but also they can definitely deliver. Okay. And you, some Libras will also be very conscious of their health, their weight, and their body form. Okay. In the month of September, more news, more communications, and more correspondences. And you will be attending a lot more meetings. Your management will also be testing you if you ha really have the edge to deliver the company into a lot of success which is you will be in charge of some of the most important and very confidential and sensitive stuff okay so your management will be counting on you but expect that there is someone who will try to sabotage you because there will be a big betrayal and the person who's going to be coming to you or will be doing this to you will be getting away with it it is because that this is you know the person that you know that they will be doing this to you is just a front guy okay but not really the main person someone just pay them or someone just ask them to do that to you now you will already have an idea who's doing it or who is behind it 
but you will be very busy. Okay, you'll be very busy with your job, with your project, and stuff like that. But this will always be at the back of your head. Now you're not going to confront this person, but you will keep this person under your radar and you will also be observing them because you cannot just make an assumption or you cannot just make any accusations about this person especially if you don't have any evidences okay so you will just keep your low profile and just keep on doing whatever it is that you're doing things will start swirling you know for the better when it comes to your workplace and you will be super busy during this month and you'll be running around like chicken okay now when it comes to your personal life you will start securing your assets and you will also start thinking more about your future your investments what are the things that you need to divide what are the things that you need to negotiate just in case that the two of you will really get down into that thing or into that point that you have to make everything official that you know you don't really want to do anything with each other anymore this is just like a preparation i don't feel like you know which is, I feel like by the end of the year, there is something that you'll be regretting. Anyway, singles, you will have, you know, you will still be seeing the same person. And, you know, it's like there is a part of you who's starting to feel more fun and more, you know, like connected. Or it, it's like you will keep on longing and lo looking for, for this person's attention towards you. Okay. Now, one thing is that this person doesn't want someone who is clingy needy and always looking for their attention they want someone who is successful independent strong-headed and you know they're they can make their own decisions and they're adult enough to understand that it's not always like you know like you have to always cuddle with each other because you have jobs and lives and you know other things to fulfill but the sex will still be great okay and be careful with animal bites or contaminated meat okay well in the month of um, august you will be so conscious of your body form or your body weight so um you will be avoiding the red meat anyway but be careful okay with animal bites stray animals or something like that okay and in the month of october you will be traveling double travel okay Travel that is related to your business or and then travel that is related to your pleasure So this month you will be roaming around and you will be using some of your You know um, unused holidays or leaves to take some time off because you're feeling a little bit burned out But you will have a word with your superior about what's really going on between you and this other person which is i told you it's an air sign so the cards will you know remain consistent about this feud between you and this other person even if this is not really their actual sign sometimes people act like this when they're being so mean and cruel and bully and they're being you know and stuff like that so you will have a word with your boss and I feel like the uh, the situation is pretty much controllable but they will be asking you for a favor which is it's gonna be like a little bit hard for you to swallow okay but right after that you're gonna try and let it go now when it comes to your workplace you will be visiting or you will be traveling to some of your associates or to some of your partners or to some of your clients alone okay this is the time where you have to prove your worth to the management and you will be bagging the bacon except that there is someone who will try to keep on ruining your schedule and who will also try to get in between your busy schedule okay which is you already know who now the moment of truth comes into your personal life or into your marriage and then there will be like a final step or final judgment or final decision that you will be making but be very careful because you might just regret this by the end of the year. Now, oh, more. Well, you will be very happy because it seems like you're going to be in the same page with this weird and eccentric but rich person, you know, that you're going to be having sex with. And you will be asking, like, what is the real score between the two of you? Since that you're not really expecting for this person to answer you that, yeah, you know, like uh, we're just, you know, 
like the sexual stuff and nothing serious we're friends but you know with benefits and stuff like that you will be expecting that kind of answer but instead this person will also be asking you that yes either this person wants you to move in together or you know that you're all that you're gonna be in a formal relationship which is good and I feel like you are gonna be so in love with this person even though they're gonna be married to their work or to their job first that is one thing that you have to understand okay if you can maintain your distance and then being so independent not being too clean and needy jealous you know and accusing and stuff like that but remain loyal and faithful you're gonna be in for a, like a long term and you know lifelong happiness because i feel like this person is also faithful and loyal but if you screw them they're also going to be screwing your life big time now well, you're going to be in for healthy food and you're going to be go... It's like you're going to go vegetarian this month. So... I just feel like some of you will have some problems digesting vegetables. And it's like how you eat it is how you're going to poop it. Okay? And that is... Um, you know, it has something to do with an underlying health problems. Which is you have to go and see your doctor about that. Why is it that you're not digesting vegetables, but you can digest other food? Now, in the month of November, thinking about your foundation and worried about, you know, the final announcement that the management have promised you, which is you will be getting it, but it seems like there will be something in return that you will be working with the person that you really hated the most. Now, the management will be asking you to just go with the flow and try to work things out. You know, otherwise they might just give the promotion and the increment to someone else. So there is a big decision that you have to make. And again, more communications, correspondences and movements, you know, when it comes to your workplace. Everyone will also be sending their, you know, their messages and their um, greetings to you. And this is where you will feel like, why is it that I'm feeling so trapped into this situation that even though I don't want to work with this person, but I am being pushed, you know? And when it comes to your personal life, you're feeling a little bit stressed out, depressed, withdrawn. And you feel like, this is the change that I've been wanting to see. This is the change that I've been waiting to happen. And this is the moment that I have been waiting to, you know, to come and to hear. And why is it that I am not still satisfied? Why do I feel unhappy? Why do I feel like something is missing or I'm just doing the wrong thing? You know? Well, you will find out in the month of December. Now... Oh. Singles, you know, you, it's like you already found the right one for you. But then why entertain someone else in the picture? It seems like this person will be catching you or will also be testing you if you are faithful and loyal. Or if you are, you know, well deserving of their time and effort. Be very careful to get caught. And you will be feeling a little bit uh, woozy, you know, chest pain, back pain, um, feeling so heavy and drained, plus muscle pain and, uh, you know, body aches, okay? And finally, the month of December, you will be moving. Well, it's not just about house move, but it seems like you will also be moving from one office to another. That you will be given this privilege of having your own space or having your own office. And you'll be very happy with your, you know, with all of your past efforts. But, okay, but, of course that there is something in return for that. That you will be a little bit disappointed, okay? This is not going to be like a complete 100% happy dance for you. <laughs> okay, so as much as you want to pop that champagne and celebrate with everyone, I feel like there is something that you need to know first. Okay, which is there's nothing that you can do except to 
you know, accept the decision. But, you know, in your workplace, you'll be very happy. The, um, the amount will be very promising, the benefits and the additional stuff that they will be giving you, you know, as you know, one of the privileges of your position. And you will try to get along with someone as an air sign. And that is yet to be seen what's going to happen next. Okay. And when it comes to your love life. You know, when it comes to your love life, some of you will actually find out that you are pregnant. Okay. And some of you will also find out that um, either you are the one who's pregnant or your partner is having a baby to someone else. But this is also where you will find out that your feelings are still intact, that you still want to save the relationship, but you have pushed your partner too far, you know, because of... For some of you, I feel like you will have that... You know, I mean, in everyone or in, you know, like, when you're about to let go of someone, you always have that one last hope or one last regret or fear or you'll be scared of your decision but then the thing here is the person that you have pushed too far away because you thought that you can do it on your own and you thought that you know this is what you really want it turns out to be they've already moved on you will try to do your best and you will also try to hide your feelings in front of everyone. And you'll also try to pretend that everything's going to be okay. You're, you'll be fine and you're going to be like, you know, doing okay. But you'll be crying. Of course, you know, in, in all separations, in all divorces, in all, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's it, it will always boil down into that, okay? Like the seven stages of grief, the seven stages of breakups and stuff like that. And it will somewhat affect your work and your holidays as well. But you will try to do your best, okay? And I feel like you're the one who will be making some peace or you will try to be friends with your ex, okay? You'll try to wish them well. And now for singles, looks like someone will try to, to ambush you or you're the one who will be ambushing someone because they are so jealous of someone that they thought that you're having some, you know, that, you, that they are, you know, that they thought you're messing around with. But the truth is, it's just like a simple jealousy. Okay. And um, they have this fear or they have this paranoia about someone who is getting caught in bed because that is their you know their worst memory of the last person that they really want to be with so they feel like each and every woman or, e or each and every person that comes into their life you know they're going to do the same thing so this is part of the adjustment and this is also part of the new beginnings or new life that you're about to embrace and unfold and when it comes to your health looks like you're going to be doing okay except that you need to take care of your teeth because you will feel like why is it that my teeth is just falling or why is it that my teeth is not you know not really holding up and sometimes it's too painful or sometimes it's too you know, like um, tender, okay? You better go and check out with your doctor for any other signs or any other possible causes of it, all right? Anyway, that's it for you for this last half of the year, Libra. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.